If you smoke, you have absolutely no right to complain how cold it is when a non-smoker opens the window to breathe clean air. In my growing city, I have the unfortunate luck to always have to be around smokers in houses I live in and on public transportation. Most of the smokers I have the unfortunate luck of being around get angry and violent when you open a window to breathe fresh air when it is even as high as 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It is my opinion that if you are willing to expose someone to second-hand or third-hand toxic chemicals, you cannot even complain about someone wanting fresh air, even if it is cold. Cold air is not even comparable to toxic chemicals unless you are getting frostbite that will spread all over your body and kill you. I have been beaten, stalked, kept up at night, threatened, and have experienced all sorts of abuse and inconveniences because I opened a window instead of letting myself be exposed to more toxic chemicals than is necessary. I do not understand how anyone who smokes thinks that behavior is okay. Some of these same people have kids who they smoke around. It is absolutely heartbreaking that those kids are ruined by their parents' choices, that those parents probably treat their kids the same way they treat me. You can try to tell these same people that smoking is a serious addiction with health and behavioral consequences that affect everyone surrounded by the smokers, but they will deny it even when it is obvious they are having trouble breathing and their kids are having lung-related health issues, when they are threatening and abusing their children. Smoking needs to be treated more seriously by organizations like CPS. Where the fuck do you live that lets people smoke on the bus? People smoke inside. I'm a smoker but it seems stupid to do it inside. Um what growing city in the US allows smoking on public transit? This post is weird. Have you really been beaten? Seems a little extreme. Seems like a straight up lie if you're claiming this is happening to you in the USA unless you work for a cigarette manufacturer or at a pot shop or something. I smoke and so do most of my friends and I have a hard time wrapping my head around you being threatened and stalked. All the smokers I know will excuse themselves and would never light up inside. And even as far as vaping goes, they always ask before they do. I would never be offended if someone asked me to step outside or if they open a window. Plus, I always ask if someone minds if I smoke before I light up. R slash unpopular opinion opinion has turned into r slash true off my chest. No rational person disagrees with this. Bullshit. Some smokers beat you up, threatened and slash or stalked you plus as retaliation for opening a window as they smoked. That's a big line of dog shit. Smoking is not a cult. It's just an addiction. No one beats people up because they cracked a window for fresh air. Even smokers like to see their clouds of second hand disappear. I smoke but I don't want to just resuscitate that shit until it's gone. If this happened it was maybe once because sometimes people are pricks. This is not a common occurrence. As a smoker I absolutely agree with this. Just because I smoke doesn't mean everyone should have to breathe it in. I smoke exclusively outside and move when a non-smoker comes into my vicinity. Just a common courtesy. I have been beaten, stalked, kept up at night, threatened, and have experienced all sorts of abuse and inconveniences because I opened a window. Fucking doubt that. This story sounds like 100% grade A bullshit. I have been beaten, stalked, kept up at night, threatened, and have experienced all sorts of abuse and inconveniences because I opened a window instead of letting myself be exposed to more toxic chemicals than is necessary. R slash that happened. Yeah. I don't believe you lol but enjoy your small bit of karma. Okay this seems dramatic and pretty black and white. I've been around smokers all my life, even before I was a smoker. Most smokers don't want to sit in clouds of smoke and will open windows even when there is no non-smoker around regardless of weather. Also stalking, harassment, and beatings. If that's true maybe the answer isn't smokers are terrible but that you're surrounded by people who would be terrible whether they were smokers or not. Where do you live that allows smoking on public transportation? Also as a smoker if you're in my house or my car you don't get tell me I can't smoke, or that I have to open windows to accommodate you, just like if I was in the house or car of a non-smoker I don't get to decide I can just smoke in there if I want to.
If you had a problem with me smoking in my home or car, I wouldn't do anything but invite you to get in your car and go to your home and not smoke there, and I don't know a single smoker who would be more extreme than me. What? You've been beaten, stalked, threatened. By smokers it sounds like you need new friends. Wow, this opinion is so unpopular. No one else thinks this at all. You've been beaten for opening a window? What are they smoking meth? Bullshit. You haven't been beaten for opening a window. LOL. What a dumb post. Like opening windows suddenly makes people mad if they smoke. I'm calling shenanigans on this one. Wait. It's allowed to smoke in buses and trains in the US. Good thing it's illegal to smoke here, everywhere including closed spaces, buildings, transportation, and stuff, although people still smoke on streets but well I try my hardest to not inhale. Maybe try starting movement to impose same rules, trust me it's worth a shot. You're right, but maybe a little dramatic in your wording. LOL. Okay. Jesus what should whole city do you live in where people beat you for opening the window, sounds like a fucking hell hole. You got beat for opening a window? What the fuck? I call bullshit. There is no fucking way you have been beaten, stalked, and kept up at night for opening a fucking window. If that's true, and I doubt it is, it doesn't represent smokers at all. You just hang around crazy people. You're making out like smokers are fucking psychopaths. Overly dramatic and overly fake. Fuck off bozo. I'm not normally one to say this but. What part of this is an unpopular opinion in any way shape or form, just tell this to whoever smokes near you. We are not a surrogate for those PPL. I don't think this is so much an unpopular opinion as it is a highly specific opinion. It's so unique that you can't really say it's popular or unpopular. As a smoker, I think smokers who are inconsiderate to the people around them while smoking are assholes. Like yeah, I know it's no good for me and that to me it usually tastes good. But to non-smokers it is rank and invasive and creates a health concern that they deliberately avoid. If we don't get that, we're inconsiderate pricks. My father smokes indoors. Keep telling him the house stinks but he is never convinced. We have found the Jesse Smollett of smoking. How tf is this an unpopular opinion? Is it your home they are smoking in? If so you're right to open the window. If it's not your home you can just leave if it bothers you. See funny thing is that I'm a smoker, but can't stand to be in smoked area, I always smoke on fresh air, my room has always opened windows no matter how cold it is. I love the filthy smell of cigarettes. Not when it's inside though. I have been beaten, stalked, kept up at night, threatened, and have experienced all sorts of abuse and inconveniences because I opened a window instead of let myself be exposed to more toxic chemicals than necessary. If you're not completely full of shit, maybe you're going about getting fresh air like a dick? Any smoker I've come across has been totally okay with me opening a window or asking them to step outside, if asked politely. Or they'll tell you to fuck off and that's that. But if you're getting beaten, stalked, and threatened for opening a window, I think there's more to the story.